So um, good afternoon and welcome to the UC Davis Center for Neuroscience's NeuroFest, which is our annual Brain Awareness Week event. My name is Kim McAllister and I'm the director of the Center for Neuroscience. And I am so happy to see all of you today. So I want to thank you all for taking the time on your Saturday, your precious Saturday, to share that with us. So last year, the center celebrated our 30th anniversary. And as we reflect on our successes over the years, I want to thank all of you for your continued interest, your curiosity, and your support. There is really no greater grand challenge uh, in human health than to understand the brain. And we're motivated by your attendance today and inspired by our donors in the room who are supporting our work. Special thanks to our CNS Director Circle members whose generosity is enabling us to hold NeuroFest each year for the past nine years to provide a benefit to the community as we learn and celebrate brain science together. If you're interested in learning more about becoming a member of the Center for Neuroscience, please be sure to stop by the information booth and grab a brochure or connect with our colleague, um, Jennifer Scott, who would be more than happy, she's right here, more than happy to tell you about that. Um, and if somebody could close that back door, that would probably be good. Okay, so the, I want to tell you just a little bit about the Center for Neuroscience. We are the hub for interdisciplinary neuroscience research and training at UC Davis. We bring together neuroscientists from across multiple disciplines, schools, and colleges to advance discoveries. The center houses 24 core faculty, and we have 93 affiliate faculty, and we train almost 200 postdocs, graduate, and undergraduate students at the center. Every day, our neuroscientists conduct cutting edge research at all levels of the nervous system, from genes to behavior, and throughout all stages of life. We're really committed to revealing the remarkable complexity of the brain and lever leveraging those discoveries to promote health and to catalyze new treatments and technologies to improve lives. So we are really excited by this year's NeuroFest theme, Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning, and the Science of Brain Health. This is a complex topic, as we all are aware, and today our presenters are gonna offer insights into the field and share their cutting edge research using these tools to advance neuroscience, technology, and health. After each presentation, uh, we will have time for a Q&A, and at that time we ask you to raise your hand um, and our, our um, helpers, our staff, will, will bring the mic around uh, for you. And please note that we're going to be recording the presentations and also the, the Q&A. Throughout our afternoon, our neuro activities that I hope uh, many of you were able to, to participate in includes 12 interactive booths. They're described, if you haven't seen them yet, in, uh, in the, the uh, program that you got. They're located in the main hall, they're also in the adjacent conference rooms, and they're available for you to explore uh, before if, uh, if you need to get up and take a break, and then we're gonna have a, about a 40 minute break in between our, our scientific talks for you to go back and explore those. So our graduate students really work incredibly hard to provide a fun and educational experience at those booths. Um, it's appropriate for all ages, and we're really grateful to our, our students. This year, we've also brought back neuro posters uh, they're in one of the, the smaller conference rooms, and we hope that you'll visit them to learn about our graduate students' research, which range from how opioid use can change gene activity in the brain, uh, and the genetics and profiles of psychosis, to how early life exposures to environmental toxins can affect behavior, and even how infection during pregnancy can impact mental health out outcome in the offspring. So a special thanks to those of you who um, have volunteered to be NeuroPoster judges. We really need your help and, um, and we're grateful for your time. And finally, we also wanna be sure that you check out our Neuro Art Contest that's right outside these doors and uh, that you vote for your favorite. The winning Neuro Art will be showcased at the Center for Neuroscience's Neuro Art Gallery in our lobby. And if you're interested in a tour to come see the Neuro Art Gallery, uh, please be sure to sign up at the information booth or again, contact uh, Jennifer Scott, who's waving again. <laughs> okay, so it takes a team of dedicated faculty, staff, and students and volunteers to make NeuroFest a success. So at this time, um, I would like to thank our NeuroFest co-chairs, Drs. Tim, they're pictured here, Drs. Tim Hanks, Rishi Chowdhury, Will DiBello, and Costas Sarbalas. Yep. 
want to also thank our team of graduate and undergraduate student volunteers that are led by our NeuroFest committee members, uh, Becca Wilson, Porter Harrest, and Evan Haley. So thank you so much to everybody. And really to the more than 40 graduate students and volunteers that are all mingling outside, we want to thank them for their hard work planning and executing the event. So thanks a lot for that. We definitely cannot do that without them. And a big thanks to our staff that includes Teresa Gear, Kimberly Cummings, Katrina Spridgen, and Jennifer Scott that are pictured here. Again, they, they manage the whole thing and, and make sure that this works out really well. So thank you very much for your time and effort.